This video mainly talking about the command line interface or course ELI. In the USB JTAG-T software, we allow people to use the command line uh, to execute the command as well as the menus and toolbars, uh, buttons on toolbars. But not all the command exist on menu and toolbars. To enter command, you type in command and its parameter, like help and help can have a parameter say uh, config and then it will display the execute the command like help another way to use help is without any parameters of help and in this case all the available command will be displayed in here now by the way uh, the command set that is based on the target you select for example MIPS target we have some extra commands that for MIPS only and it will not exist in the SPI like 6120. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to use the commands and you probably need to learn the command yourself uh, by, you know, by help and trial and error. One big feature you need to learn is to use the tab. Uh, the tab key is on the keyboard on top of the left of the keyboard. And it's similar to Linux. Uh, one way is to autocomplete. For example, if I type PR and then press tab, it will automatically complete the command program for you. And it will, you know, some commands are quite long, and this way it will prevent you to, from mistype. Another way to use the tab is to autocomplete. For example, if I type the C and then I keep on press tab and tab and tab and tab. It will toggle through all the commands that it has the C, uh, started with the C. I will go through the commands in this list and you can see what is going on here. So let's see the D. What the command D is for, you can type D. D is for make the address displayable, uh, visible. So for example, this is address, uh, let me load a flash here, dump. And this is 30290. So let's say I want to D display uh, 40050, for example. Okay. And I don't know what this address is. Immediately, it will display this address for you. And some people may find this useful. Okay. So let's say I want another address, say uh, 550. And this address will be displayed for you and you can you can either you know edit or or something like that so the second command is exit clearly it will exit the application uh, same as you exit from here but let's try it uh, the third command is reset uh, reset has no not value for the uh, SPI flash programming but it's reset like uh, one or two but this doesn't do anything and flash fl detect this command is used for detect the flash uh, lp flat uh, dct so you can say i want to flash detect uh, zero or flash detect u boot something like that um, since i did not connect the JTAG with it. So the command will not do anything, but this command is similar to you do ID here. You know, ID will be detect the flash and here is will detect flash as well. And flash set is in case you fail to detect flash and you set it, it's, it's not used a lot. The initial command is typically not for the SPI. You know, if you have a MIPS target or ARM target, when you detect the target and you want to initialize some registers, you can use this command. Now in the USB is reinitialize the USB. Okay, let me con connect the U-Link here. And if I initialize it, it will reinitialize. Here I, I connect the JTAG on it. And when I initialize the USB, it will reinitialize, you know, re-download the firmware to the flat JTAG. So it will take time for JTAG NT for U-Link is quite fast.
The next two command, uh, that command is cmp uh, get ram, which is the same as read here. So we can say get ram and uboot. And we're done. So let's say what the get command, uh, get ram is. So get ram is the get the memory from the target. Uh, the next command is cmp ram, which is the same as verify. So cmp, I just type cm and and U boot. Um, this next command is save. Save command is same as this one here. Save button. So let's say I want to save U boot, and it will pop it uh, pop up the dialog. Okay. The next command is ldram. Ldram is same as open file. So help ldram. So load LD is uh, is short for load me memory. So we load memory to say load ram zero or uboot and here. Uh, next command is flash list. So this is a flash list. This lists all the flash that's available. So let's clear the screen here and help again see what its next command. Next command is config. So so config. There is a missing command, missing parameters. Let's say I want to config, and it will populate like this, which will be similar to this button. Okay. But there is additional one, say target. I can say I want to config. Oh, by the way, in the command line here, you can use up key and down key to toggle the history of the your existing command. So in this case, I want to do the uh, config again. I can, I can, let's say, and I want to config. This time I want to config to SB5101. So I can say SB5101. And it will switch to the 5101 target as well as initialize the USB. So let's come and figure back. USB 6120. Help. Okay. Uh, the next command is about. So about. And the about button is the same as this one. So you can see the versions and uh, content information as well as if there's a, a test module loaded or not. Uh, next command is CLS. CLS stands for clear screen. So CLS. And it is same as this button here. So help. And the second next command is E. Let's take a look what E is is edit the memory. So I want E0. So let's say I want E0 and I want to say 11223344. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. And let's take a look here. See the address will be 11220. One, two, two, zero, zero. Okay, let's say I want to edit the address of, okay, let me here. Add the address of 200 hex and 1234567. Look at the 200. Where is here? 20. 200 is here. So after I enter, so this address will be 1, 2, 3, 4. These are for advanced user when you want to manipulate your address, uh, data in the, the flash. But um, it's the tool available for you, but it's up to you how to use it. The next command is F. So F. F stands for fill. So for example, this address is full with the FFs. And if I say fill env1 with zero, so take a look at what this will do. So fill the entire memory tab to zero. I can also use the add fill, so let's say zero to 100, and they say 55. Okay, let's take a look. So. This will fill the memory address from 0 to 100 to FFs, uh, five fives. The next command is S. S is for search. 
Let's load the SB6120 with the dump and we know there is some uh, data in here. So let me try to search. Let's search env2 with a string say called try and uh, scb e or env2 try. And the first occurrence of the try will be displayed here. So I search entire env2 and try will be here. Let's say I have another pattern. I don't know if you can see here. Okay, let's say 63, 63. Okay, I know there is one. So let's search env2, 6363. And boom, the first occurrence of 6363 will be shown up. Not the one that I, I want. But you get the idea and the search is done this way. The next command is config show. So config show and it display how the 6120 of the current one is, is um, configured. So how this was done and this is the file uh, content printed out. Uh, same as you can use the edit text editor to open the file. Another way to view this file is go here and go to the configuration folder and in here you find the uh, SB6120. Let me find this file, 6120. And this file, open it with the editor. And boom, this is the file. And you can see this matches here. So the same content is displayed in the text editor. Next command is erase. Erase the same as here. So we can say erase uh, uboot. The next command is S program. S program stands for slow program. And in some cases like MIPS or ARMS, there are two algorithms to program. Uh, typically, the program and here will automatic program and erase for you, but the S program typically will not do the erase for you. The next command is speed. Speed is to select data clock speed. Uh, the default is in if you do not define anything, it will select the highest clock, uh, or you can define in the XML file for the uh, for the modem or for the device. So to execute command, say called speed, uh, sorry, sp and what z2, and you see the clock speed is changed. Uh, three. The next command is log. You can enable and disable the log for the command section. Mm, if you need help, sometimes you need to upload the log file. Uh, the following command is script. The script is very powerful tool and we will have separate video to talk about the script. So let's see if I have script. This will get list all the existing scripts that's um, available and you can create your own script which will go to the, um, in the configure here, you can tell where the script file is located and put your script file to this folder will allow you to execute the script. Uh, to execute scripts, it was similar. Like I have the, uh, I can have a command that says 600 USP, 600 USP, and these are the command I'm using. So let's say I have MR18. So MR18. MR18, and it will print out all the scripts. Okay. So to execute command, just say 600, same as you type command, so 600, it will start doing it. But because uh, mm, poke is not legitimate command for 6120, then it will stop in here. The next command is um, high low, H-I-L-O. Uh, and this is the uh, command that people are asking to put in because some programmer will do this. So. Let's say I have this address here, and then I say hi, low to the U-boot. It will swap the byte. So swap the byte from 
even number to the odd and odd to even. So if you type this command again, it will revert it. And the next similar command is doing the um, doing the ending convert. So let's say I want to end the ending swap u boot, and this will convert from little ending to big ending instead of you know two one swap between the one byte. This is swap between the four bytes. And if you end the swap back again, it will do this. Um, it will be useful advanced user, um, normal user. If you don't know it. Don't use it. The next command is pgm ram, which is not used in 6120. The following command is a color. Let's take a look what color means. And you can define the background of the color. So this uh, is six values here, which is defined RGB. So I want to change my background to color um, 55 uh, FFFF. And this color will be changed. Uh, it's a fun to play with, but probably people won't use it. The next command is W for uh, debugging the new chip. Sometimes I need to issue some commands to see if the chip responds properly. So the format is write with a command following it, like five and uh, R for read and bytes to read back. Um, this will not be very useful for, for users, but if I got a new chip, I need those commands to, to test it.